Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making chocolate zucchini bread. If you'll remember from a recent video, uh, how I uh, had uh, ground up some zucchini, fresh zucchini to use in my baking. It's time to make some zucchini bread. I'm gonna show you how it comes out by baking it in the Ninja air fryer. I get to make uh, two little mini loaves at a time in there and I do this quite often with some of the other breads. It, that way I can package them up individually, give them as gifts, put them in the freezer. So anyways, that's what we're going to be doing today. I will start on mixing up the batter and be back to you as soon as I have that done. Okay, here we are. Batter is all done. Whoops, <laughs> with a spoon in it. <laughs> and before I start spooning that out, I wanted to show you. Here is the zucchini that we did the other day. Um, this, the rest of this I will put in the freezer shortly. And um, now we're gonna bake, I call them my cute little cute little breads. I don't know if bread can be cute, but they're so little. And I usually just kind of dab a little bit of oil on the bottoms. Um, I don't use the spray oil anymore like I used to because I just felt that sometimes you get more on there than what you really need. And if you'll notice, these are little tiny loaf pans that basically are going to go in this air fryer once we get it all set. I've been doing this now for quite a while and it just comes out so nice because I can make such little loaves of bread. Nice to keep for gifts, uh, or just yourself when you don't want to cut into a whole loaf of zucchini bread and use it all up at once. I find that one of these is enough for a few days of snacking if you want to. I think I'll probably get maybe, I'm guessing maybe about three three loaves of bread out of this. We'll see. Um, I can cook two, two at a time in the air fryer. And, uh, and within about 20 minutes, I, that's what I have found. It takes about 20 minutes no matter what ones I'm making. Now, this is the first time I've done the zucchini chocolate in there, so it'll be kind of a trial doing this. I'm just going a little until I see how much batter I have left. So I'm going to start with hoping that I'm going to get three loaves of bread out of this. I'm thinking I should. As you probably have noticed, I am one of the messiest bakers, cookers there could be. When I get done, it looks like a train ran through my kitchen. I'm always grumbling at myself about the mess I make, but the next time I do it, I make a mess again. Okay, so I want to fill these up if I can. Pretty much halfway at least. I think I'm going to have enough batter to do that on all of them. Of course, each bread makes up a different amount of batter. See what I mean? I drop it everywhere. Uh, I wish this bowl had a pour spout on it. Uh, it doesn't. This is the bowl from my uh, mixer that I mix the batter up in. It would be really nice if this put a pour spout on it. I think overall that would 
makes life a lot easier when you're mixing, especially when you're mixing up batter type things. Video to end up being so long and boring here. But I wanted you to see exactly how I, how I do it. Now, somebody else might have a, a different way of doing it or think possibly of a different way. And that's okay too. I have just adopted this way of doing things. So, we'll see how. This comes out. I know when I've made it in the past and the big loaf is absolutely delicious. And get my hands wiped off here a little. Like I said, I'm a very messy baker. <laughs> okay, so this is what happens you can cook on two sides. So today we'll put one in there. One in here. And by the way, if you'd like, I'll post the um, recipe for you in the on the video. <coughs> But it's normally three fifty and uh, about sixty five seventy five minutes. So what you do on this is turn on and we are going we're going to oh what's the matter? We're gonna bake and then you can set your temperature three fifty. Now, I'm going to set it for 20, because that's what I've been doing for the others. And then we're going to do the second one. You go and bake and second one. And we want the temperature up at 350. And the time 20. And start. I must have missed up on this one, you'll see, but that's all right. That's what I like about this. You can just go back in and check it again. So we'll be back as soon as they're looking halfway cooked, and I'll show you what's going on with them. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to show you the how far we've gotten with one of them. All we have to do to do that is hit the start, pause. You can pause it, you can bring it out. I want you to be able to see in there. Looks done, but I, I doubt it because I, this is the one I messed up on the number of minutes I put it in there. So I'm thinking the inside's not gonna be done. Close to it though, hmm. I think we had that at 350 before. 
Um, and now we're going to look for some time. I think I'll put it, seeing I messed up on the time before. Let's cook it another 10 minutes. That's what I mean about this. This is so simple if you make a mistake. It, it's really not a mistake. You can correct it almost any time. So now, again, we're going to have to wait a little bit, and I'll be back for to show you the finished product soon. And I'm also, while I'm talking with you, let me tell, give you some of the ingredients for this. Eggs, honey, vegetable oil, brown sugar, vanilla extract, salt, baking soda, baking powder, and then some um, baking cocoa, flour, the zucchini, of course, and chocolate chips. And like I said, I'm going to post that recipe for you in case you're interested in giving it a try. Okay, we'll be back soon. Well, here we are back for the finished product, actually. This is one. Ah, too hot to pick up, but you can see that, I think. Uh, I checked it with the toothpick, and it seems that's my old way. There goes those little critters again. And then I want you to notice that um, I've still got that third one. You can just keep going and put more in here. As many as you want. Bake. One, meaning you're going to do one. Oops, I've turned it on. One. Bake. 3.50, and I think the time on that I've gotten now is... and off it goes again and it'll show you the time when it turns off it um, makes a beat and then you'll see it says cool it cools them down for you not to the point that you can touch them really but and there's the little mini loaf of zucchini bread so if you have any questions please put them in the comments I hope it that this was interesting to you. Um, I guess it was another kitchen gadget of mine. I don't know that you would call an air fryer a gadget, but I really enjoy using this one. I use it a lot, and like I said, I use it a lot for the breads. And uh, that way I don't have to turn on my oven and heat up the place in the summertime. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until the next time, I'll see you again. Remember to be well, take care of yourself, and check on your elders when you get a chance. Make sure everything is all right with them. Again, thank you for joining the channel. Bye-bye.